those of you who got an invite, welcome to Nerd Prime. <laughs> no matter where in the world you are, we're all Nerds International. With the hyphen. Alright, you tubes, it's Mr. Mean coming at you from very swampy Beaumont, Texas. It is crummy outside, it's hot, it's humid. It rained a little while ago, so just as we were starting to dry out and it was there was a little bit of a breeze, and the weather was getting better, and I was like, oh, it's not so bad. And it freaking poured down raining for like two minutes and then stopped. And now we've got humid, swamp ass weather. I hate Texas. I'm ready to move. Anybody got a job in like Utah? Because I'm ready to go. Or New Mexico. I'm actually thinking about moving to New Mexico. Anyway, today's RPG du jour, du jour RPG crate. My last crate. We'll go get into that in a minute. But let's pop this bad baby. Uh, I can't talk. Let's pop this bad baby open together. Let's see what we got. Let's see what goodies are entailed. Um, if I can open it. There we go. All right. Let's see what we got. All right. Oh, there's a tube. Let we get the obligatory card, which tells you about all the cool stuff inside. This is for July 2017 RPG Crate. If you want to get yours, go to RPGCrate.com. Uh, excuse me. After taxes and everything, it's about 39 38 bucks a month. Um it says, welcome to your one-year anniversary RPG crate. We're so appreciative of everyone that's become a member and humbled by all the great responses received over the last year. This crate is special to us, too, so we put extra care into crafting it. The stories inside are fantastically perilous, and the adventures are brave enough to enter. All right, I don't like reading off the card, so let's see what's inside. First things first, we got a T-shirt. And again, as always, when you order this crate, the first thing they ask you is what size T-shirt you wear. And I think for almost 40 bucks a month, the T-shirt in most cases makes it. Um, and this one says, I survived the Minotaur Challenge RPG crate. So that's a cool T-shirt. Very, very old school. I like it. So it's going in the laundry. It's, uh, they're nice T-shirts. This one's a Hanes Comfort Fit. Comfort Soft. Heavyweight. 2XL, because I'm a fat bastard. So very cool, very nice. I survived. I'm assuming that the theme is going to be fantasy again. We'll go over that in a minute. Uh, looks like we got a RPG great, crate com. That's a cool looking, looks like a bookmark. Uh, fantastic tabletop role-playing loot delivered right to your castle steps. Members will receive an, a monthly RPG crate, which may include up to a dozen different products, full modules, shirts, maps, dice, miniatures, exclusive adventure settings, and other game treasures. Join now. So it's basically just a heavy card, little, almost a bookmark. Um, but that's kind of cool. Uh, we've got a tube. So I'm sure there's an adventure or a map or something in here. Um, now when they say a dozen items, I've never seen a dozen items in these things. Um, but that's, that's okay, yes. Appears to be two maps. Yeah, they do this every once in a while. There's there's a nice generic map, and then there's one for the GM as well. So, and this, this one probably has all the GM information on it. Uh, let's see. Yep. Oh, no, it's two different maps. So two totally different maps. Very cool. I'll never use them. I don't use these kind of maps in my games. Uh, not to say that they're not cool, because they are definitely cool. Um, but I have a friend who's, who's a huge 5e guy, and so he will get use out of these. Um, I will not. So those are kind of useless to me, but cool nonetheless. Very nice. Heavy card, too. Pack, packed really well. Um, again, um, effing cool miniatures. Um, this one doesn't have anything on it. These just look like dudes. Um, kind of hard to tell what they are. Look like they're skeletons carrying treasure. And one guy's headless or something is kind of hard to make out there. Um, not the greatest uh, quality, but then again, they are in a plastic bag. They may look good. I don't know. So uh, let's see here. What else we got? 
We got our three cards, which are usually adventures, and again, they're D&D based miniatures, total party level, so they're just configuring average party level nine. So they just keep on going. So three miniatures, all D&D fantasy based. And then we got Marathon of Heroes by Lloyd Metcalf and Rick Martins. Fifth edition, The Lands of Lunacy, adventure for four to six level five characters. So again, another D&D adventure. And then the obligatory pluck foam. Remember, if you see that in there, don't throw it away. So there's the cover of the adventure, which again is absolutely no use to me because I'm not running a fantasy game. So this crate is worthless. I am very dissatisfied. Um, I did reach out to the guy. Uh, I think it's Rob Henson. Uh, no, I don't remember the guy's name. Anyway, it's the guy behind RPG Crate. And like I said... It's probably a small press guy. It's probably not a bunch of guys. So I, I give him credit for putting something out there, and I think it's neat and it's innovative and it's cool. Um, but I've been getting it now for six months. Four, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I threw two away. Six, seven. So seven, eight months now I've been getting this crate, and every crate is D and D. Every crate's D and D. I have no use for D and D. It says RPG crate. Why don't you change the name of the crate to the D and D loot crate? Or Pathfinder Loot Crate, because they did include some Pathfinder stuff not too long ago, So and that was cool. But I have no use for in, any of this. There's not even a cool... The only cool thing in here for me was the t-shirt and the bookmark. And this is supposed to be their one-year anniversary. I didn't even get a set of dice. At least throw a set of dice in there for me, because every gamer needs dice. Um, wow, I'm extremely disappointed in the one-year crate. For 40 bucks. I'm, I'm just not... I'm sorry, guys. I've harped on this before. You're calling yourself RPG Crate. You should be other RPGs besides. There's more games out there than just D&D. Uh, Fantasy Age, uh, Star Wars right now, Fantasy Flight Games has got several RPGs that are doing very well. In fact, they're always in the top ten. Uh, Star Wars, Force and Destiny, Age of Rebellion, those games are always in the top ten. Fantasy Age is in the top ten. Um, uh, Pathfinder, of course, but you know, Pathfinder is just a different flavor of D&D. Um, if this is their one year anniversary crate, I'm glad I canceled. I did, you know, and that brings me to my point. I canceled my crate. Um, not necessarily because I'm extremely dissatisfied, although that being said, with this one year crate, they're making a big deal out of one year, and it's less than what was in last month's crate. I mean, a couple months ago, they gave us a hardback adventure for D&D, but at least it was a hardback book, a $20 book, $15 book, and it was nice. It was a spider themed. It was real cool. I gave it to my friend because uh, he runs D&D. &D. Um, but this is supposed to be their one year. I mean, and you didn't put anything in there. I mean, the miniatures really, I mean, uh, according to all of the other effing cool miniatures, they're way better than this. These look like garbage. I'm not impressed with those at all. I mean, the only one that's even halfway decent is the skeleton carrying the, the, the treasure chest. The other two, I uh, the third one, I can't even make out what it is. Oh, oh, it's a skeleton carrying a body. Got it. Well, looks like crap. Um, which is sad because effing cool usually does really cool stuff. So I'm sorry, guys, for your one year crate. This is really a letdown. I mean, I'm I'm not impressed at all. Um, and I, of course, I've been harping on this for three, four months now. I'm tired of seeing. D I don't play D and D. Why am I spending forty dollars a month for D and D crap that I'm not going to use? And I did reach out to him and I did say, you know, hey, you call yourself RPG crate, and he did respond. I think I posted that in the notes of the last our last month's crate. He did respond, and he and he brought up a good point. He said, "Hey, like the Cthulhu coins, uh, those would be good in a Call of Cthulhu game. They'd be good in any fantasy game. They'd be good. You know, I was running Conan at the time, so I could use them in Conan. They would they would make perfect sense in Conan. So he he was right. But again, it's still all based around fantasy. I mean." You know, you're paying $40 a month. Yeah, you get a cool T-shirt, but the T-shirt's even fantasy-themed. And, I mean, um, Pathfinder is a... Paizo is about to come out with their Starfinder. I mean, look, you reach it. You guys are being... I'm sorry, you're being lazy. For my $40 a month, I want more, and that's why I canceled. I'm tired of D&D-based stuff. And he's like, and his, his reply was, well, you know, you can convert it to others. For $40 a month, I shouldn't have to convert anything. I mean, if you're calling yourself RPG Crate, then you should be about RPGs, not just D&D. &D. I mean, or I have to convert it. If I want to run 
Infinity, which is uh, a new RPG that's about to be released. I just got my final playtest copy uh, in my email today. Um, none of this crap does me any good in a in a sci-fi hard sci-fi based fantasy game. I mean, I mean, yeah, I can skin it, but if I'm going to do all this work to convert it, I might as well just make my own adventure, which is what I do anyway. So giving me adventure plots for D and D is worthless. I mean, I'm, I don't, I'm not going to use them. And I know, I knew that going in. In all fairness, I don't want to sound like this is a bad deal. If you're a D&D player or a Pathfinder player or a DCC or any of the, you know, OSR flavored, this might be a good deal for you. But for me, it's not. That's why I canceled. I mean, plus I've got a newborn baby and he needs stuff. And, you know, finances are tight as they always are for everybody. So I chose to give up my RPG crate. The main determining factor, though, is I was tired of getting the same thing over and over and over. And that's all we've gotten. I mean, yeah, the t-shirt is very cool. I'm, I'm not complaining about the t-shirt. But you give me some generic maps. Okay, those are nice. I can probably use those. And then you give me a 5th edition adventure and 3 adventures from your own little uh, sandbox world. Of But it's basically D&D. Yeah, and I can convert them to DCC. I'm not running DCC. I'm not running Pathfinder. I'm not running d and I'm not running OSR. I'm running Infinity, Conan. I'm not even actually running Conan anymore. I just did that for free RPG. I'm running Infinity and Mutant Chronicles, two sci-fi based RPGs. These stuff, these things don't do me any good. None whatsoever. Um, in all fairness, though, like I said, he did reply back to me. He said they are going to have a sci-fi themed crate, but he wouldn't tell me when. So I'm like, well, fine, I'm going to cancel. You know, I'll keep an eye on the website. When the, when the sci-fi themed crate comes out, I might pick it up. My only concern would be that it's going to be sci-fi themed based around Pathfinder's Starfinder, which I don't want to play. I have no interest in. So again, there's 40 bucks I can save. So I'm hoping, I mean, I would be nice to kind of get a hint of what's coming in the crate, you know? I mean, is it going to, you know, tell us at least it's going to be D&D inspired or it's going to be Pathfinder or it's going to be, you know, Fantasy Age or it's going to be Conan. You know, give, give us a little theme of what, and maybe it does. I, I've i looked on the website um, and I didn't see anything. And maybe I missed it. I'm not perfect. And, you know, I'm doing all this stuff while I'm at work. And so I'm more focused on work than I am looking at this kind of stuff. But I'm still, I'm just extremely dissatisfied for, for the amount of money we're paying uh, you know, and this is their one year anniversary crate and you're excited. That's what your card said. You're excited. I've been with you for a year. I've been with them almost a year. Um, and this is what you give me the same old, same old. I mean, there's nothing even special in there, a pendant or something, a cool coaster. I mean, I mean, this would have, they should have saved this for their one year crate. This is the dragon eye, uh, by RPG coasters, uh, shameless plug for them. Cause this thing is awesome. I really like it. I use it every day. Um, so I'm just, I'm sorry, guys. I, I know you guys work hard at RPG Crate, but I think you you need to change your name to D&D Crate, you know, or Fantasy Crate, you know, because you're not an RPG Crate. RPG means role-playing game. That encompasses a wide variety of genres, not just fantasy. So I'm actually glad I canceled. Um, but again, if you're into fantasy and that's your wheelhouse, then this might be the thing for you. Um, I mean, you get an email after they charge your card. You get an email saying your card was charged, which is cool, so you know it's coming. Then you get another email saying, hey, we've shipped a package to you, and they give you a tracking number. Usually it takes 24 hours before you can actually see anything. But at least, hey, they're on it. I always know where my crate is. It's, it's, that part's cool. So I guess let me rephrase this. I'm not mad at the service. I'm disappointed with the qual the quant not the quantity. I'm dis I'm 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 uh, dissatisfied with the caliber of items in there. The genre of items. I'm I've gotten seven eight crates now, and they've all been D and D themed. Every single one of them. And I'm just, I'm sick of d and I mean, even the horror crate. I mean, God, you got Call of Cthulhu. You mean to tell me you couldn't reach out to those guys? I mean, I did a demo adventure for Call of Cthulhu one, Call of Cthulhu one time, and I reached out to KS. I mean, I said, hey. And I went to a rinky-dink convention, Pacificon in San Francisco, when it was in its infancy. It was a minor con. 
Uh, it's now kind of a big con, I believe. Uh, I think it's changed name. But the point is, I contacted Chaosium, and they sent me a shit ton of stuff. Sent me a free rule book. They sent me a, a player's compendium or something like that. I don't even remember. It's, it's been almost 20 years ago. I mean, so those guys are willing. I mean, Chris Pramus, you know, at Green Ronin is an awesome guy. George Valikos. Valikos. I can never say his last name. He's Greek. Uh, super cool guy from uh, Eden Studios. Send you a ton of stuff. I mean, come on, guys. You got to you, give me something for my money that I want. And again, I'll, I'll say it again. It's not right for me. It may be right for you. If fantasy is your thing and all you care about is, you know, fantasy, then, man, buy this without a doubt. If, if I was diehard running a D&D game right now, I'd be all over this. I wouldn't hesitate. But I'm not. And, and when you have a name called RPG Crate, I expect every month there should be something different in there. And I know people are going to say, well, you know, I got a superhero crate and I'm not into superheroes. But it's one month's crate. And if you told me in advance what the crate was, people could, you know, spend wisely. So as it is now, by not giving me any foreshadowing of what's going to be in each crate, I'm just straight up canceling. Because I'm tired of all fantasy. I want something different. So if anybody knows of a, a RPG crate out there that does different genres, please let me know because I haven't found one. Dungeon Crate, I expect fantasy stuff in it. It was all D&D-based fantasy stuff. I didn't like the quality of the items they were sending out, so I canceled. It's that simple. Their first couple of crates were amazing. You got a shot glass, a real nice heavy shot glass. They sent out some metal dice. It was all awesome. But by the time I joined, it was the same price, and I, I felt like I wasn't getting nearly uh, what I should be getting for spending that much money. You know, they give them some tokens and some counters and plastic, uh, plastic little uh, punch out miniatures. Which I'm like, uh, I have metal miniatures. I'm a painter guy. I like to paint miniatures. So give me a pre plastic, you know, printed miniatures. That's an insult to me. It's just my thing. They have their place, and people who use them love them. That's great. I won't use them. So I'm just, guys, I mean, I'm just really disappointed. I'm, I've am i been begging them, and like I said, I even reached out to them and said, hey, throw us a bone. Give us something besides fantasy. And maybe I'm the odd guy out. Maybe 99% of their customer base all wants fantasy, and I'm I'm the asshole. Could very well be. And if it is, that's fine. I don't have to spend my money here. I work hard for my money, so I'm going to spend it where it does me the most good. If I want to spend $40 and get something fantasy-related, I'll go down to my local game store, and I'll buy a fantasy book that I, that I want, and I know what its contents are. You know, this, I'm, it's a grab bag, and I get that. That's the attraction. It's, you know, it's, it's random. You get stuff for, you know, your $30, $40, but I'm just sick of getting the same stuff. You know, so, I don't know. You guys make the call. You tell me, am I being a jerk? Am I, am, am I justified? Um, I mean, I feel like I'm going to vote with my dollar and I'm not going to support them anymore. It's just that simple. It is it is what it is. I mean, they're not putting anything in here that I can use. And that $40 I can spend elsewhere and me be more productive with it than getting a bunch of crap that I can't even use or I don't want to use. I shouldn't say I can't because I can. I am fully able to run fantasy and, and run a very good fantasy game. But this does me no good, and I don't want to run fantasy. It's not my wheelhouse. My wheelhouse is sci-fi and supers, so this does me no good. So I had high hopes for it because it said RPG Crate, and I was dissatisfied with Dungeon Crate. But at least with Dungeon Crate, I knew what I was getting. I was getting dungeon-based loot. That's what it's, it's called, Dungeon Crate. So everything, they give you coins, they give you the little miniatures and, you know, status tokens and stuff. But it's all stuff for a dungeon master and or the players, but it's all dungeon related. I got it. It made sense. You're calling yourself RPG Crate, but you're not, you're giving me D&D stuff. Call yourself D&D Crate. And if that's trademark and you can't use it, call it Fantasy Crate. Then, you know, then we're good. But uh, they call yourself RPG Crate and limit yourself to one genre and pretty much to one particular game I think you're doing a disservice and I'm just tired of getting D&D &D stuff when I, I don't play D&D &D. so anyway, that's my review um, I'm going on like 20 minutes here of me bitching and I'm sure you guys don't want to hear that uh, so I'm going to leave it at I've cancelled my subscription um, I don't have any more coming so there will be no more unboxing videos of RPG Crate unless they want to send me a free crate telling me, hey look we got different stuff, please resubscribe more than happy to give you a good review if it's if it's decent quality stuff but like I've told you guys, nobody pays for my stuff, I buy it on my own, I review it honestly, 
and I just feel this is crap. I mean, especially for on top of that being more D and D stuff. On top of that, it's your one year crate, and this is what you give us. I'm I'm just not impressed, guys. I'm sorry. Um, if you got your crate, let me know what you thought about it. If if you like the contents in it, hey, cool. And like I said, if you're a D and D player and all you play is D and D, then this is this is obviously the crate. Especially if you're a D and D GM. This is a crate for you. In fact, that's what they should call this. They should call this the Fantasy GM case, crate, uh, crate. The Fantasy GM Crate. That would be a perfect name for you guys because everything in here is, is derived for a GM. There's nothing in here for a player. Nothing. I mean, the, the miniatures maybe, uh, the t-shirt, that's for anybody, but everything else is catered towards the GM. The adventures... And I mean, we got nothing in this crate. We got nothing to show. For forty dollars, I got a T-shirt that I can get five dollars at the flea market, ten dollars at Walmart, and I got a map that I could have printed on my computer. It's not that great of a map. Um, I got a heavy card bookmark, okay, and three miniatures that really don't look that great. So, and some pluck foam. I don't know. You guys tell me. Am I being too harsh? Am I being too critical? Am I being mean? Remember, Mr. Mean, for a reason. So anyway, that's my review for whatever it's worth to you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Give a like. Hit the subscribe button. As always, peace and hair grease. And remember, be nice.